We've been listening to the news stations and podcast experts talk about the real estate market for some time now. And honestly, it seems like everybody's providing conflicting information. 2023, we saw interest rates hit 8%, then they dropped to around 6.5%. And right now they're hovering in the high sixes, low sevens. But what does that actually mean here locally in Delaware? Stick around and let's find out. If you're new to the channel, my name is Matt London. I'm a local real estate agent here in Coastal Delaware. And I put out content each week discussing all things Coastal Delaware. If that's something that you would like to see some more of, do me a favor, hit that subscribe subscribe button down below. And if you're someone that's looking to buy or sell real estate here in Coastal Delaware, that's what me and my team help you with every single day. And we love hearing from you guys here on the channel. So all my information is going to be down below in the description and right here on the screen. If we can help in absolutely any way, don't hesitate to reach out. Now let's dive into the content. Home price appreciation continued to trend upward throughout 2023, despite the 20 year highs in mortgage rates. So it's interesting to see the trend going. Home prices nationwide increased year over year by about five and a half percent in 2023, with some areas still experiencing double digit appreciation. So markets where prolonged inventory shortage has been kind of exacerbated by the lack of new homes for sale, they recorded notable price increases over the course of 2023. So to provide some context, historical average appreciation across the entire history of record keeping is right around 4% per year. So we were still above the historical average. New listings here in Coastal Delaware showed a little bit of growth in the fourth quarter of 2023, and we were up 32% in December 2023 versus December 22. So we should have a flood of listings on the market and a whole bunch of inventory, right? Not so fast. New pending sales surpassed their 2022 levels, meaning that as more homes came on the market, they ultimately went pending just as quick. Unfortunately, it can be attributed to the slow market at the end of 2022 when mortgage rates first hit 7% and there was a lot of uncertainty among buyers, which has changed as we've gotten into 2023 and 2024. Closed sales for 2023 in Coastal Delaware only beat 2022 in one month, and that was November. Again, this is a result of the mortgage rate shock that we saw and all of the economic uncertainty at the end of 2023 that we experienced. We saw the fewest real estate transactions since 2011. There are a lot fewer transactions and we still saw prices appreciate at a higher than average rate. The continued market strength is remarkable amid the nation's affordability crunch, but it speaks to the pent up demand that's been driving prices higher and higher over time. Inventory is slowly increasing, but it's still close to historic lows. As of the filming of this video, there's about 1,400 homes currently active in our entire county, which is down about 11% from 2022. When we remove those new construction homes from our numbers, the inventory across our entire county drops to about 780 homes. Homes stayed on the market an average of 57 days as we turn the corner into 2024, which is a 20% increase versus the start of 2023 or the same span of time from last year. It means buyers have fewer options and the options they do have are sitting a little bit longer right now than they did at the end of 2022 going into 2023. And that's pushed many home buyers into the new construction path, which gives them the ability to control the outcome a little bit better. They don't have to try and find something that is a resale that works in their budget, and they're able to move forward a lot quicker with a lot better peace of mind, just because, again, they can control what happens a little bit with the new construction. As 2023 winds down and we start the you know year off in 2024, agents, market experts, economists, everybody's expecting a much more active market in 2024 than we saw in 2023. The most are attributing that to really one main source, but it's two, I guess, separate reasons that you could say. The decrease in interest rates will bring many buyers back into the market, but it's also going to provide some sellers with, you know, that would be sellers that sat on the sidelines because they saw rates hit 8%. It's going to provide them with a little bit of relief because they're going to be trading in, you know, their high to low 3% rate, and they're finally becoming comfortable with where interest rates are at. So because many are making peace with where interest rates are at and deciding that they can no longer wait for them to come down or for things to change, they're just going to end up doing something now versus waiting any longer. Low inventory, record Record-breaking home prices and elevated mortgage rates really sideline many home buyers and would-be sellers the last couple of years. Mortgage rates are predicted to decrease throughout 2024, so that is some good news. Um, they've steadily declined for several weeks now after hitting that 8% mark back in like the October timeframe. However, a lot of buyers are still struggling with the affordability piece. Prices across all consumer goods have been somewhat unpalatable. It's no secret that inflation has been the topic of conversation for a very long long time now, and that prices on just about everything you buy every single day is a lot more expensive right now. Lower rates ahead hopefully imply additional savings for buyers and hopefully, again, some relief 
for what feels like the never-ending inflation conversation. And sellers may find that 2024 is the right time for them to list because inventory remains low and there's a lot less competition on the selling side. And prices are expected to remain pretty steady throughout the year. So equity gains, more buyers joining the market, and a home that probably may not fit your needs anymore could entice many sellers to finally get off the sidelines and list their homes as they make peace again with where those interest rates are at and the new norm for interest rates. I do want to touch on multiple offers. I know I get the question a lot, are we still seeing multiple offers? What's the scenario with them? And it really depends on the particular home, the area, and sometimes even the subdivision. With momentum building so far in 2024 though, and those mortgage rates starting to come down a little bit, each percentage point that those mortgage rates come down, we're going to see an increase in buyers and we're going to see an increase in multiple offers for many houses across coastal Delaware. I know there's many homes that I've either shown to clients or had clients submit an offer on and the listing agent has either made us aware of an offer deadline, basically telling us, hey, we've got multiple offers. Here's when offers are due. Or we submit an offer, they come back and they say, hey, we've got two, three, four, five offers now. Do you guys want to change anything in your offer before proceeding? So we are starting to see more of those, but just know that if you're a buyer entering the market, you may not be the only person that's looking at the home that you're looking at. So what's next? It seems to be the prediction that home prices are not coming down anytime soon. So if that was the factor that was keeping you out of the market. Unfortunately, I think I'm here to tell you that we're going to be waiting a while for that to happen. Home prices are likely to continue to rise as low inventory and increasing demand dynamics change. And again, as those interest rates come down, I can only see those prices going up more just because as interest rates come down, again, you're going to have a lot more buyer competition in the market. That's going to be a sneak peek at what we are seeing in the market, both across the country and here locally in Coastal Delaware. Again, my name is Matt London. I'm a local real estate agent here in Coastal Delaware, and we put out content each and every week discussing all things Coastal Delaware. So if that's something that you would like to see some more of, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. And then again, if you are someone that's looking to buy or sell real estate here in Coastal Delaware, that's what me and my team help you with every single day. We love hearing from you guys here on the channel. So if we can help in absolutely any way, don't hesitate to reach out. I hope to see you guys next time. Peace.